Throughout my life, I've been led to believe that happiness comes from material possessions. It wasn't until I went traveling that I realized this couldn't be further from the truth. True happiness is found through the simplicity of life and the embrace of nature. With this in mind, me and Julia headed off on an adventure to explore one of the most beautiful countries in the world, the Philippines. We wanted to find out what it means to the locals to lead a simple life surrounded by nature. Our journey started off here in Palawan, where we met up with local freediver Gael Savina. She took us around some of our favourite spots and told us about her connection with the ocean. For me, the ocean is a place of meditation and gratitude. When I'm down there, everything else disappears and I'm fully immersed in the present. It's just me and the water. I'm grateful for the way the ocean has shaped my livelihood and I feel a deep connection to the wildlife that calls it home. It's a world of calmness, a world of peace, a world where time seems to stand still. As I dive deeper, the outside world fades away. The only thing that remains is the pure silence of the water. In this state of mind, I am free from all thoughts, completely focused and immersed in the experience. But for me, the journey is more than just exploring the ocean's depths. It's about finding a deep connection with nature and oneself. It's about feeling alive and experiencing the beauty that the world has to offer. Next up, we headed to the surfing paradise Shargao, an island with countless palm trees and home to some of the best surf in the world. Professional surfer Filma Alapayo gave us a look into his life for the day. I'm Filmar Alipayu, I'm from Shargao Island and I'm a professional surfer. It taught me to be a better person, you know, respect the ocean, the nature, everything. Surfing, I forget everything. I forget, I forget everything. Once I'm riding the wave, I all feel so relaxed, calm, you know, free, free. It makes me really happy. It's now my goal to inspire and give opportunities to the next generation of surfers. I want to teach them what the ocean has taught me. My daughter now is three years old and she likes surfing already. I'll, I would love to coach her in the comps and then I'll be so happy of course it's my dream.
Surfing is more than just a sport. It's a way of life, a connection to nature, a respect for the power and beauty of the ocean. Filipinos' connection with nature extends beyond the ocean. We met local farmers who are devoted to their work despite challenging conditions. Their love for the earth is evident as they work happily, laughing and making the most of their days in the field. Farmers are the guardians of the land, ensuring its health and productivity for generations to come. very little, the children are always so happy. They love spending time in nature, whether it's playing amongst the palm trees or swimming in the ocean. It's a reminder that happiness doesn't come from material possessions, but from the simple things in life. All these stories are united by a common theme, the deep connection between the people and the natural world that surrounds them. It's a bond that has sustained the Philippines for centuries and one that we all must work together to preserve for the future. When you spend time in nature and appreciate the wildlife and environment that surrounds us, you cannot not want to protect it. Let us remember the wisdom of the local saying, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. May we all strive to leave behind a world that's just as rich and vibrant as the one we inherited.